Well, well, well. Norm Nathan's vault of silliness has bestowed upon us quite the gem. This, a dumb birthday game from July 29th, 1995. I will title it Radio Cowboys. Norm is again at his ad-libbing finest. Whether it be dumb birthday game rules, personal details of the celebrities, or co-writing and singing a country and western song on the air, more on that later. This is the show for you. We are joined on the hot July night by Addie. She has figured out a system to compute ages, but is corrected and set straight by Norm. Please have pen and paper handy to write down the formula. Ellie from Salem. Robert from Everett, but calling from rainy Ormstown, Quebec, Canada. Lisa from Topsfield. Jack Hart. I'm producing and playing. And then, after some, what I will call, open mic dead air, Liz is introduced. Birthdays, Marilyn Quayle. Keep that pen and paper handy as you may want to write down her list of accomplishments. Patty Skialfa, Elizabeth Dole, Ken Burns, O Tonto, Peter Jennings, the Canadian Dick Clark, Alexandra Paul. And then we enjoy some events in history too. What year did Jack Parr make his debut on The Tonight Show? Prince Charles married Lady Diana. Norma covered it for the Herald and for one of Norm's radio shows. And when did the New York to San Francisco transcontinental telephone service begin? Robert has a prize request if he wins the game, and Norm is willing to pay even more. The showery weather where Robert is inspires and leads to some on-air writing and singing of what would become a country and western standard. You'll find the lyrics in the description box. We also mention some lesser-known country and western songs, but are classics all their own. The puns lead Norm to comment that one thing he likes about the humor here is that it's not forced. Or funny, as Liz chimes in. Let me remind you to like, subscribe, and share what Norm refers to as the worst display of whatever it is. From Everett, hello, Eddie. Good morning, Norman. Good morning, Eddie. I've come up with a system. You know how when guys go to the racetrack, they have a system? Yes. Well, I've devised one for the birthday game. How's that? How's it work? Well, if I take the root of July and multiply it by 1492 and come out with the ocean blue, I can get the right age. I'm sorry you miss it. No, <laughs> that's not the way you do it. Oh. You have to take in the length of the Nile River, the number of uh, square miles in the city of Addis Ababa of uh, Ethiopia, and there are a whole other uh, other ingredients. It's not as easy as you think. Oh, duh. Yeah, and then they have to bring in my cousin Tevi Schlafman's age at his last birthday. You multiply that into it. Don't you know the rules? Gee, I thought my sister was so simple that it was going to work. No, please. Please, Addie. Well, looks like I'll have to play it the same way the others do then. Yeah, just wild guesses. Yeah. Yeah. How about Ellie, who is in uh, Salem? Hi, Ellie. Hi, Norm. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. This is the first time you've played the game with us or not, no? No, this is the second time. Second time? How'd you do the last time? I didn't do very well. Oh, I'm sorry, Ellie. But I'm going to do a lot better tonight. I'm not as nervous as I was the last time. Yeah, you were really jumpy then, huh? Yeah, I was really nervous. Yeah. No, the idea is just to have fun. This is not, not very serious whether you win or lose. Uh, doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't. It's the fun of the game. <laughs> That's right. We have, oh, God, we have Robert from, from Everett, who's up in Canada. Once again, twice in the same program. I think uh, Tony Nesbitt is trying to destroy me <laughs> and our no, entire I'm family. Not, I'm not doing that. Addie and Ellie, I, thank goodness you've got beautiful young ladies on. Very good ad lib, Robert. You must have been in the entertainment business. Right, I tried it. I didn't make it out. Okay. We have Lisa, who's up in Topsfield. Hey, Norm. Uh, Lisa, doing? another one. Yes, yes, that's right, another another woman. Oh, my goodness. Why don't you send some of these young ladies up here? Robert? I'll pass. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Shut up, Robert. Okay, we, we, ha we have uh, uh, Jack. Uh, Jack Hart is with us. Hello, Jack. Hi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, uh, how you doing, Jack? I'm pretty well. How are you? I'm doing just fine, thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay, we have Tony Nesbitt, of course, with us, too. He'll be playing the game. Whoosh. Hi. How are you, Norm? Well, he asked me how. 
We've been working together for the past three hours and 14 minutes. That's why I did that, because I like yeah. to hear you get all How you doing? flustered. And... You know, Is it hot enough for you? Yeah, I'm still trying to come up with a... Can you come up with a smart answer for that, either of you, or any of you? <laughs> when somebody says it's yeah. hot enough for you, what, what, what do you say? And they always say that like they just thought of it that second, like, boy, am I brilliant. You hear what I just said? I yeah. said, is it hot enough for you? <laughs> Here's an original one, Norm. It's, it's so hot, I saw my cat chasing a mouse, and they were just <laughs> loping along. <laughs> That is a wonderful yeah, that's bit a of one. that's, that's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful bit of humor. Whoosh. Yeah, yeah. it's the original. Jack, your yeah. poetry did not go unnoticed. My poetry. Your are your oh. raining and pouring and <laughs> driving <and> pouring. <laughs> did he really say that? See, yeah. that's, I, I shouldn't really turn turn my mind off to you when you start you giving you traffic reports. You left the studio at that time, Norm. You had left the studio. Uh huh. I heard it too, but I didn't want to tell you about it. <laughs> I just said it didn't go unnoticed. I didn't say whether it was a secret. That's true. <laughs> okay, we're going to play the dumb birthday game, and of course the uh, the rules are very Norm. simple. Yes, ma'am. One moment, please. The trouble appears to be in your set. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have another another uh, person here in the studio who's going to be playing the game. Would you introduce us to her, if you would, Tony? This is Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Well, I'm I mean, stunned, Norm. I'm not at all. A lot, of, a lot of us know that, but there are some people who... Everyone, who, who, this uh, is Liz. Liz, this is everyone. Hello, okay. Liz. Hello, it's, it's nice to Hi. see you. Oh, yes. Right back at you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Marilyn Quayle has a birthday today. Hmm. And uh, I guess you all know who Marilyn Quayle is. Marilyn Tucker was her maiden name. Did you know that? Huh. Yeah. You don't even care. Neither do I. <laughs> a former second lady. Uh, isn't that interesting? I never heard of Vice President's wife being known as the second lady, but I guess that, that would figure. Huh. Uh, she's from Indianapolis, Indiana. Wife of uh, U.S. Vice, former vi Vice President Dan Quayle. Graduate of the Indiana School of Law. A member of the... Uh, Indianapolis uh, Chowder Society and Knitting Group, and uh, just a general good ballroom dancer, swell dancer, and a neat dresser, and a wonderful person. <laughs> and will never be the first lady ever, is, is she should live to be a thousand. Who's, the, who's making the clicking noise? Is that anybody we know? Ellie. Is that you, Ellie? Hello. Yes, Ellie. Are you making the clicking noises over there? Oh, I must be that. Must yeah. be my teeth chattering. It's so cold here. Yeah. So if, you, if, you, if you just kind of simmer yourself down a little bit. Anyway, Eddie, Marilyn, what, do you, what Marilyn Quayle, what do you think? Um, I'll say according to your formula, I came up with 109, but if I use my formula, <laughs> yeah. it's 49. 49 with your formula? Yeah. Okay. You know what I forgot to tell you? What? I forgot to tell you to divide by the year that the... Uh, the Sphinx was erected in Egypt. Oh, wow! Well, that's and amazing. you would have come to probably come to about forty-nine. I think yeah, it would have come to about the same. Is, yeah. The difference, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the number of lanes in uh, in a major, and I think it's Route Nine, uh, <laughs> west of Worcester. Uh, I think you divide. I forgot whether you divide or multiply, and I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Hey, Ellie, what do you think? How old is the Marilyn Quayle? Oh, I'd say 53. Okay, and Robert? Uh, I believe she's only about 45. She's so young. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Lisa? Uh, 48. All right, and Tony? 47. Tony says 47. Liz, what 40, do you think? 47. 47 also. Yep. Okay, and Jack? I would say that Marilyn Quayle is exactly... Fifty. Was there something significant in the exactly like quail, quail eggs, eggs or something like that? Egg, yeah. That yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of stretching it just yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But well, I was just trying to feather my nest with that joke. Oh, yeah. no. you bird brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, Marilyn Quail is forty-six. Oh, I was going to say. Did I hit it? Uh, well, you said forty-five. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, you would be one of the winners, and oh, so would uh, Tony. And uh, Liz, who votes at 47. So we had three winners this first round. 
a flaw in my system. Well, now you were close. You said forty-nine. You only you weren't that far off. There's a flaw in LA system. Yes, there is. Yeah, because well, but even you weren't that far off to only seven years. <laughs> yeah. Although if you're Maryland Quail, I guess there's a big difference between turning forty-six mm -hmm. and turning fifty-three. True. <laughs> okay, how about uh, Patty? I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'll have to explain who she is. Smythe. Or maybe you know, no, she alpha is the way you would say it. Or is it ski alpha? Ski alpha. She pronounced it ski alpha. Hmm. A backup singer. Bruce Springsteen's wife. And she's yeah, she's Bruce Springsteen's wife. Okay, Patty ski alpha. Okay, what do you think, Liz? Forty-two. Forty-two. Okay, and Jack. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. 44. Okay, Tony? Uh, I'm born in the USA, right? <laughs> that same, that's, a, yes, she was born in, in fact, she's, well, not really, she was born in Deal, New Jersey. You know there was such a town in New Jersey as Deal? D-E-A-L, D-E-A-L, Deal, New Jersey. Huh. Either that or that's the name of the group she's the backup singer for. The deal, deal, New Jersey, and she's quite a card. <laughs> <laughs> They're not playing with the full deck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Forty-two. Forty-three. Is someone is someone playing in the shower? I think it might be a fan or some some AC going or oh, something it's like the that. The rain's falling on my trailer. I see. The rain falling on my face. Is that is that what that noise is? It is. That's what the noise is. No, I can't no. stop it. No, I would no. Don't try to. Hold on. I think we have a song here. I can't stop the rain from falling on my trailer. <laughs> that's the rain that's drops that. keep falling yeah, on my trailer. Yeah, don't yes. do comedy with me, please. He's too funny for me. <laughs> there you go. He is funny. He's got a good sense of humor. Oh, well, thank, thank you very much. Forty-three. Pardon me, I just thought I'd jump in there with the answer. <laughs> Lisa, what do you think? I want to say 42. Lisa would say 42. Okay, Robert? I would say 37. That's rock and roll. You're talking about Springfield? Yeah. Yes, right, 37. Yeah, Bruce Springfield. Springfield. Very young. <laughs> yeah, he's related to Rusty or Dusty Springfield. Yes, they call him the upper manager. Right, okay. Yeah. I got 37. Yeah. I think 30, I need to write in the note. 37, okay. Ellie, what do you think? Well, I'm going to try to go in the middle, I think. I'm going to say 41. Okay. And uh, Addie? Uh, I have no idea. I'll say 43. I think Addie got it. I thought you were so sure your answer, Robert. Well, I, I <laughs> look, I'm guessing, but I know rock and roll and everything. The rain is still, it's not my shower in it. It's raining here in Ormstown, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop the rain. Follow my trailer. <laughs> Nobody's asked you to do that, Robert. You know, it's the last song I'm going to hear tonight. I'm going to be singing that all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> is that Jack again? No. <laughs> that was Ellie. Yeah. That was Ellie from Salem. <laughs> uh, Patty Patty Ski Alpha is actually thirty nine. Oh, see. And Robert actually Robert was the closest. Ooh, she was uh, she, was won a game? she just she had a kid a few years ago. 40. Well, there are a few winners actually. Uh, Robert was two years under her age, and there was and there's, let's see, and there's uh, Ellie who said forty one, who's a couple of years old over her age. So Robert has two out of two. Holy Mac, I've never won that much in my whole life. <laughs> yeah, that one, prizes. Yeah, yeah, the prizes are really nothing, so don't get too excited. Right. All I want is the lock of your hair. <laughs> I'll give you the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, uh, Tony, and uh, Liz uh, both have one apiece, so that's the way we go now. Almost everybody uh, has scored in some way, if you know. I sort of, I don't know. Okay, Elizabeth Dole, of course, the wife of. Uh, the Senate Majority Leader. Let's see, I'm trying. I'm looking for information about it. She she heads up the uh, the American Red Cross. I don't have any other additional information about her here in my vast files. But uh, rather an attractive lady, but unfortunately married to uh, Robert Dole. So what are you going to do? 
I don't get too many political comments on the program, and when I try to sneak them in every now and, and then, now people, you know why. people look at me blankly. Uh, Elizabeth Dole, anyway, how old do you think she is? Robert, we'll start with you. I would say she's going to be the next lady of the house. The next lady of the house. You know, Washington, yeah. D.C. Uh -huh. and, and, and Dole, Mr. Dole, who's a... Uh, could you just guess her age? I wonder if you could just uh, confine yourself. About 68. About 68? Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's see. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> My doctor says my Lanta will probably yeah. take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that you, Ellie, making the stomach noises? Not me. I, no, I think that was uh, Robert sneezing or something. Oh, was that? Ca he caught cold because he's out in the rain. Yeah, I was just going to say, it must be the rain on the uh, tin roof. Yeah, it may be dripping right through, you know, the kind of cheap trailer that oh, Robert probably trailer. has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This trailer uh, is rusted through. It's another old sad country song, isn't it? Yeah. My trailer <laughs> done rusted it through, and now it's it. raining out of my hay. <laughs> oh, Can't so stop nice. sneezing, caught a cold. <laughs> and ever since you went away, I, I feel, feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony, what do you think? How old is Elizabeth Dole? Do they owe us money for that ASCAP BMI? <laughs> Let's see, uh, she's, I know she's uh, a good 10 to 15 years younger than her husband. Oh, and he yeah, just turned right. to 72. 72, yeah. Hmm. 62. Mm -hmm. um, what did I say, 10 to 15 years? So 10 years would be 62. 15 years would be 57. Maybe I'll go smack dab in the middle and say 59. 59. Okay, what do you say, Liz? I'll say 61. Liz will say 61, and uh, Ellie? I'm going to go between Tony and Liz and say 60. Okay. Um, and Addie? 58. How much? 58. Oh, 58. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, Jack? 62. You went on the 10 year theory then? Yes. Okay. Uh, Lisa, what do you say? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Tony, 59. 59? Yep. Okay, that was a wise choice, because she is 59. Huh? That's she exactly right. Yes. Very good choice. Thanks, you notice Tony. I said 10 to 15 year difference, and I kind of went like 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's, that's right in between. That's good. I didn't no want to bring bad either. luck to anybody. Okay, now Tony and... Uh, and Robert, both are tied at two apiece. And everybody else has at least one except for Addie and Jack. Hmm. I'm in good company. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come up with that one? Okay, Ken Burns. You know Ken Burns, the filmmaker, uh -huh. specializing in documentaries. Uh -huh. He did the Civil War series, and more recently he did baseball. the uh, baseball one. And he's now working on one on uh, the West. Hmm. Uh, conquering of the West, or however you, you phrase that, but uh, uh, West, which he expects will be out, I don't know when, um, another year or so. But anyway, that's what he's working on at the moment. Ken Burns, who's from around here, hmm. although I don't know where he was born. Anyway, this is his birthday today also. Does it say anything there? No, it does not. It, it usually gives the birthplaces of people, but uh, in this case, it does not. Is he in the book, or is that from AP? No, this is the book. Hmm. This is well, the... maybe because he's he's covering so many different aspects of Americana that uh, that it would be well not to put his his uh, point of origin uh, so as not to uh, be biased uh, in some yeah, way, some nice kind of thing. It kind of made sense, yeah, yeah. but not really. Huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they do usually, I mean, usually you do know where historians are born and they cover, you know, maybe some cases the world. Hmm. So I, I'm just taking your theory, uh, Jack, and just ripping ripping it apart <laughs> and just putting holes all over into just it. Just crumple it up and, yeah. and now and the just, rain's dripping just, through it because just, of it. Yeah. That's right. I'm just throwing it down the toilet and uh, trying to indicate what a, a really a foolish thing that was that you just said. And I want everybody to know that. <laughs> I'm calling. I'm calling your boss. Oh. <laughs> Tell him that I should brush up on my facts. 
<laughs> well, anyway, just for that, you go first, okay? Ken Burns, how old do you think he is? Oh, mm -hmm. Ken Burns. Whoosh. Hmm, let me see. He it's knows. a hot one, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, Must be a Tonto. Tonto line there. Tonto. Yeah. <laughs> Tonto. <laughs> Tonto, uh, why, why, uh, why is, uh, yeah, why is, uh, why does Ken use, uh, uh, use sunblock? <laughs> I believe Ken, Ken Burns. Ken Burns, <laughs> yes, I say that. I could say that, yes. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. -dum -dum. Yeah. Uh, why are they setting a match to his hair <laughs> and throwing him in the fireplace? That's a little long, isn't Ooh. it? <laughs> Ken Burns, yeah, I Burns. suppose you could say that, yeah. Oh, hmm. uh, let's see. Do do Ken Burns. Ken Burns, yes. <laughs> uh, let me see. If he knows all about the Civil War, that would place him like somewhere like 132. <laughs> uh, I'll say he, uh, anybody who could put together a documentary like that, has got to be 46. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of wandered off there for a little bit. Okay, 46 years old. And uh, Addie, what do you think? Oh, I think he's younger. Um, not a bad looking younger either. Yeah. <laughs> not a bad looking younger. So we've got a great tan now, you know. Yeah, he lives sure. up in New Hampshire, does he not? Uh, somewhere up in New Hampshire, yes, I believe so. Uh, I'm going to go with 40. You're going to go with 40. Yeah. Okay. This Conquering of the West thing, he's going to pretty much talk about from what it's like to have gone from Worcester to the Berkshires, right? That's pretty much West for me. I thought West for to you was to Worcester. Maybe I didn't no, no, no. Actually, a lot of Bostonians don't know there's a West beyond Worcester. That's but, what I mean. But, but you are this... you are well traveled, though. You know the Berkshires. You mentioned that. But this is what the conquer. Is. He doesn't mean like the wagon. He's talking about just Massachusetts. Oh yeah. We oh, don't yeah. know what goes beyond Worcester. Yeah, as, far, as far as I'm concerned, the West is is Brookline. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have a uh, country and western singer. It was in fact he was a cowboy singer on one of the. On WMEX, when I was back there, doing country songs, hmm. and, and he, he, we thought he was a real cowboy coming from the West. He came from Wellesley. <laughs> <laughs> He's singing, "Way well, I was down on," and you talk to him. Uh, well, how are you? Sure, I'm going out to get uh, some, uh, going out to China Sky, going to get some Chinese food in the car, and this kind of thing. He's doing my old stick. <laughs> oh, you're sorry. doing, you're doing my stick. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay. He uh, had that great song about the rain going through my trailer, didn't he? Yeah. That, that was one of his, too. Yeah, he also had one, Blood on the Saddle. Yeah. yeah it was, uh, had to do with... Uh, hemorrhoids. How come they spell hemorrhoids the way they do? Yeah. yeah that was uh, that was it, yeah. That was the subtitle. Blood on the Saddle. Yeah. <laughs> and, why do they, and why do they spell asthma and diarrhea the way they do? Yeah. Why did, and why psoriasis. Did, psoriasis, all those things. And what was yeah. the other? was one more, wasn't it? Well, that was no. one of his favorite songs, the Eurocyte for Psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, Jinkus, we're really having a swell time, aren't we, eh? Uh, let's see. Lisa, what do you think? Uh, how, old, how old do you think Ken Burns is? Uh, I'm going to say 43. We're getting right into the spirit of things, aren't you, with the 43? <laughs> You're okay, Lisa. You are too normal. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Liz, what do you say? How old is Ken Burns? I'll agree with Lisa, 43. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't have that you'd scratch your eyes up. Really? I was, yeah, I was kind of looking for that. He's looking for a hat pulling cat. Yeah, yeah. I thought that'd be good. Ellie, what do you think? Oh, let me see. Uh, I think he was born in 1950 on this date, so I'd say 45. 45, okay. 45. And uh, Tony? Uh, Ken Burns is a toasty. <laughs> Ken Burns is a toasty? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's warm out. If he's in here, he's probably toasty, you know, hmm. and burnt toast. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 you crumb. Oh. <laughs> I was really scraping the bottom it's on really that one. You're just trying to butter us up with that. No. <laughs> trying to get out of a jam. <laughs> cut that now. Cut that out. <laughs> Well, this is the worst display of whatever it is. Aren't you kind of slicing it? Oh, be quiet. We don't need you getting in on it, too. Just let them let them die themselves out. Okay. We, we could burn ourselves out. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like a real heel, then. Heel of the bread. Get it. Oh. Did you say grape jam? 
Okay, let's get, All right, let's get back to the program already in progress. <laughs> if you want to call this progress, yeah. 41. 41. Yeah. Okay, Robert? I have to say he's very talented like Tony. He's a producer, a director. Mm -hmm. He has to be 38 because he's young like Tony. Okay, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ken Burns actually is 42. Oh my years old today, so we had uh, we have about three uh, answers that came the closest, including Lisa, who said 43, and Liz, who said 43, tag along, and Tony, who said 41, all within one year of his age. So we had those three winners, and that means that Tony now has leaped into the lead with three correct answers. Tony, he's good. That Tony's good. Yeah, We're verifying the theory that we cheat here at BZ. Yes. Oh yes, and Lisa. Uh, has two correct answers. Uh, Liz has two. And the rest of you have one apiece except <laughs> Addie. Addie and Jack. <laughs> oh. Okay, today is Peter Jennings' birthday. You know that, mm. Peter Jennings? He always looks to me like he he just woke up and the sun is bothering his eyes. <laughs> he always seems to be squinting. Does he? Or am I imagining that? Uh, like Robert, he's a Canadian uh, uh, native. That's right. He uh, was born in Toronto. Mm -hmm. You're kidding me. No? You mean you have all the actors up there? That's what we mean. I think that's what we mean. <laughs> we have all the actors up there. Is that what you said? Any, anyway. All Canadian actors, they always go to America. How come? Because yeah. there's no Hollywood in Canada. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he was a... Jack again. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Jack. He, he, was a, he was an anchor. He was an anchor man back in 1967, but uh, gave it up to become a reporter. Then after 15 years of reporting... He returned to the, says, to the high-paying top job. His they first job... In. They all run up... Shut up, it. shut up. I know, I'm sorry, his sir. first His first job was hosting the Canadian equivalent of American Bandstand in 1959. It oh, I can't see that. I don't see that either. Hmm. Peter Jennings... Seems like he was a little Jennings. stiff. Uh, yes, I do know that, Just man. a tad. So the American equivalent of... American, um, uh, yeah, a the, Canadian, uh, equivalent. Canadian equivalent. I don't so know. what was it, Canadian bandstand? May, maybe, but that was the year was 1959, um, and then became an anchorman. 67 gave it up, and 15 years later, uh, was an anchorman again. Uh, anyway, if that those, so those are a bunch of years. And Addie, what do you think? How do they translate into the guy's age? Uh, you know, I really don't even know what the hell you just the talked American about. <laughs> The Canadian Dick Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Clark is from Philadelphia. Let's see. Uh, so I guess he's the Philadelphian Dick Clark. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Plus well, his the, own Dick uh, Clark. He's the, the he's the Philadelphia answer. Peter Jennings. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that Peter Jennings uh, graduated from high school. Oh. Really? Yep. But he graduated from college. Did he? No, I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> doesn't, it does, I don't know. I don't have that information at the ready, but... I believe I've, I've heard that somewhere on the line. Yeah. Does he have his GED? I have no idea. Okay. Well, since he made it as an anchor, I'll probably sink with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, don't, don't let it weigh you down. <laughs> oh, well, oh. We'll, see if, we'll see if 62 floats. <laughs> Who's we just sailing right through Peter oh. Jennings? <laughs> okay, uh, Ellie, what do you say? Oh, that's a, that's really tough because he looks younger than what he is. Um, the old salt. How much? Fifty-eight. Okay, Robert. I have to say he's about sixty-eight years old. He's a Canadian. <laughs> if he were an American, would it be a different age? Well, I'm a Canadian. Well, that's that whole exchange rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does anybody follow R Robert at all? Uh, no, no, no. Please don't. No, don't follow me anywhere. <laughs> no, no, he, he's, he's a little uh, dingy. Yeah, it, little dingy, Jack? Right. Ding oh. <laughs> Sticking with the sailing. <laughs> sailing <laughs> thing. Sure. Lisa, what do you think? I'm going to say uh, 59. 59? Yep. Okay. Tony? I think I'm going to ride the wave and uh... go adrift with it. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Peter Jennings. Mm. That's the, the very uh, guy whose age we're, we're trying to guess, yeah. And what, what, what was it, 53 you said he hosted the Canadian equivalent of? Uh, 53? 53, I don't think there was a Dick Clark back that far. 53. Uh, that was 59. 59. 1959. Okay. 59 yeah. to 80. Uh, 59, what's that, how many years ago? Um, that was 36 years ago? More than five and uh, less <laughs> than 100. So that's 36. <laughs> Probably 57. Jack, what do you think? Peter Jennings? Hmm, 50. And that was how much? 36 years ago? Mm. Hmm, I see. I think it should have to be more than like 12 to have that yeah. you know, kind of thing. Well, then again, the, like you mentioned, the exchange rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Uh, let me get up my calculator. I'd love to be able to do that thing that they did in the 70s, that adding thing with your fingers, remember? Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. You used to uh, tap your fingers on the desk and, yeah. so, I don't know, I always saw it, but never tried piano it. lessons and a math lesson, all the same thing. Yeah. Um, I would have to say that he has got to be, whew, uh, 59. Okay, and uh, Liz, what do you think? I'll say 60. Liz will say 60, and the, he's, he's actually, uh, what Tony said, 57. Oh. Yeah, 57. Wow. So he was 21 years old, and he was the Dick Clark of Canada. Yeah. See, those Canadians all look young. Hmm. That was close. That That's why you said 68, Robert, because they're... I know, but I lie a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they should sit up more often. Just think, Robert, you could have been his Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon? He's 70. <laughs> well, I said you could Throw in a name it, and Robert will guess his age. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, how about Alexandra Paul? Who? Who? I know you were going to say that. Yeah. And I would have too, except we're running out of people you know. Uh, she's on Baywatch. Oh. You can almost guess her age yeah. by the uh, general tenor of that program. She's an actress on TV's Baywatch. And that's the only credit she's got. So apparently that's the only thing she's done. And her age is probably younger than her bus size. Absolutely. Well, for that see. show, considering that show. Uh, well, most people would be younger than her, than her bus size. Most people? <laughs> no, that Baywatch show. Oh, know. I see. So, yeah. Okay. I was, I was thinking of, uh, like, Elizabeth Dole, who's 59. <laughs> and I was hoping you didn't mean that. Or, <laughs> or hoping you did mean yeah. that. Yeah. Or Marilyn Quayle, who's 46. <laughs> yeah. Or Peter Jennings, who's 57. <laughs> Okay, how about uh, how about Alexandra Paul? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Her name is Paul, like uh, Mrs. Paul's fish sticks and stuff, which also come out of the water. <laughs> kind of like every bed that's how she got that gig. She had connections. How do you that think she got be, the job on Baywatch? That's right. It might might be that. My mother's yeah. Mrs. Paul. That's right. <laughs> and she's married to Gordon. <laughs> Okay, what do you say, uh, Lisa? What do you think? How old is Alexandra Paul? He's very trustworthy. Uh -huh. Alexandra Paul, huh? 35. Okay, 35. Uh, Liz, what do you say? I guess 24. Lisa, did you know what role she plays on there? No, I haven't seen the show. Oh, okay. I was wondering why I guessed that. Yeah. Mrs. Paul plays a role? Yeah, roll, roll, roll your boat. Oh, I see. Yeah. Jack, why don't you take a shot at it? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> shot at it was no significance to that. It was just a phrase. I know. So. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Let's see. I've never seen the show. It really is. I've seen you know, like a part of it. You get bored with it after the opening commercial. I see. Um, <laughs> That's why we haven't seen it yet. <clears throat> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, she is going to be... Whew, the guy who's on that show was on was a guest on some other show. Hasselhoff? Is that his name? Yeah. And he was trying to justify the significance of the program <laughs> and the whole idea. It's the most popular program in the world. Yeah, it, it, it does well. But, I mean, the, the, there's no significance to the whole thing. It's got these incredible-looking women. Mm -hmm. well, you His get age is bigger than his yeah. yeah. You know, that guy, and he's a nice-looking guy, too, so I can see the women watching it for him. And, and a German you know. recording sensation. Mm -hmm. Is he? Oh, yeah. He's Hasselhoff. huge over there. Yeah. Yep, they okay. have no idea what he's singing about. Yeah, um, and that's why they do it, because he really stinks it up over here. <laughs> <laughs> but the program, well, I don't know, see, I haven't seen enough of the show to know whether it ever has a plot line. 
but it's a lot of young pretty ladies and guys and stuff, you know, wiggling around in their bathing suits, <laughs> running out into the water. Mm -hmm. And I figure that, it. that's, it. that's, that's the basic, that's, that's yeah. the basic plot line and nothing much, much, much beyond that. Yeah. Sometimes they show it from the shore, sometimes they show it from the water, sometimes yeah. they show it from the side. Occasionally they'll get into a four-wheel drive car <laughs> right. and, and drive down to the beach suits, yeah. Yeah, with the uh, uh, sirens going and yeah. stuff. <laughs> So everybody, that kind of adds they drama They run across the hot though. sand, you know, yeah, they add a little yeah. bit of that. Hold on, on here. We're, we're here now. Hold and then on. they have their little orange floaties that follow them in the water when they go rescue somebody. Yeah, the the body boards floaties. that they have to go out and swim into the water with, you know, the orange things they carry, uh, the oh, life. They, yeah. they add a little bit of color, you know. But they wiggle and swim in their bathing suits. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah, so that's the Baywatch, eh? <laughs> that's pretty much Baywatch. That's, 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 that's the Baywatch. big, big, Tune in tomorrow. big, big show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Whose I'll, life are we going to save? Whose, you know, multi to mouth resuscitation? And the show's over. I would it's love an to, hour of that. An I would hour. love to have seen the auditions. Can, can you fit into a bathing suit? Uh, can you wiggle? wiggle? Yeah. Yeah. You got the job. <laughs> uh, let's see. She is got to be... Who is the Jackie Mason right casting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ellie. Did you ever see the credits at the end of the show? Yeah. Casting. Jackie, Jackie Mason. Mason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, could Jack. You could you almost fit in it too? <laughs> um, Jack didn't give an answer yet. Oh, no, oh that's that. right. Oh. I beg your yeah. pardon. Jack's got to give an answer. I'd yeah. say she was a wiggly uh, 25. Okay, and uh, Robert, what do you think? Uh, she's extremely very talented young lady. <laughs> wow, what talent. And she gets a paycheck and she locks all the way to the bank. She's 28 years old. 28 years old. That's all the way to the bank. That's all the way to the bank, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, no, I think we got that. We've got the... <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm sorry. You're not too... Not and occasionally she stops into the drugstore in a way and laps in there. And <laughs> 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 picks You're up her funny, dry clock and has a chuckle. Yeah. yeah. Addie, what do you say? How old is Alexandra Paul? Oh, yeah. 29. With all those credits to her name... <laughs> I'm going to have to go with 23. 20, with all those credits to her name? Yeah. Like, 28. Like, what What credits do you mean? Baywatch. I see. <laughs> uh -huh. What about that in your resume? Oh, I see. You're being sarcastic, like that's the only credit. So, uh -huh. so you're saying in that sense. I see. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I heard that she was from the south, and when she throws a party, they uh, call her the uh, they call her Alexander uh, Alexandra Grand Bell, uh, Grand Bell. Well, that's a far far oh, trip around, around, isn't it, to get yeah. to a really? And I don't think he even got there yet. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think... Uh, no, still making the trip, Jack. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah, that was okay, Jack. It was <laughs> enough, but every now and then you tell a joke that really sucks, and that was it. <laughs> it was more a historical uh, note than yeah, anything else. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tony, what do you think? Oh, uh, um, she's busting out. <laughs> and Tony, she, don't, she's don't a, do comedy, she, Tony. She's uh, what's the low guess? Twenty three. Uh, 23. Yeah, that's 23, correct. then I'll say 23. Okay. And Ellie? What did Tony say? He said 23. He said 23. Yes. Um, 24. 24. Okay. Actually, uh, Alexandra Paul is 32. Whoa! Wow. Yeah, that so old? She's she that old, yeah. That's right, yeah. No, that's older wow. than I would have thought, too. Might as well uh, be a thousand. Yeah. So, Lisa, you said 35, and thus... Came the closest. It's going to be one of the oldest cast members on the next to Hasselhoff. Hmm? Yeah, actually, uh, Robert was not was was four years off, so he was he was fairly close too. But Lisa was only three. Okay, so Lisa's got three correct answers now, and same as Tony. I uh, know Tony's got four. I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got one um, one year here. This is an event, and you tell me what year it happened. Okay, Jack Parr made his debut as host on The Tonight Show. Hmm. On this very, very day, it was uh, July. That's an interesting time to, to start a, a series. I, I suppose he wasn't starting the series. The show was already on, and then he must have replaced... Steve Allen? Steve Allen, I think, who was on it before him. Yeah, so that 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 could that's probably what it was. And the two brothers, the two brothers. What, what's his name, the other guy? Who originated with Dagmar? Fred Allen? No, no, that's that was a whole other show. That was the first. That first was the one. original. That was Jerry Lester. Right, right. You were right on the button there. Yeah, and what are the two yeah. brothers you're talking about? Uh, Mother's there brothers. There were two brothers. There were two comics. The Smothers Jerry brothers. Jerry Lester and his brother. Oh. 
but that, are, but no, you're exactly right. No, no, I I go back that far. I love the way Robert holds a conversation with himself. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I'm an old goat. I'm over the hill. Nobody. Hey, hey, Jack hey, Parr, hey. I know hey, Jack Parr. Hey, Robert. Nobody cares. I know. Nobody cares Jack what Parr's you're saying. Still alive, isn't he? Yes, he is. And he's living up in Connecticut. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care about that either. He's got a farm. Like oh, I got oh, a farm okay. here. Uh, Lisa, you want to take a shot at that? How old do you think Jack? I mean, what year do you think that was? And we're yeah. talking about the year he started. He uh, made his debut as host of the Tonight Show. What year would that have been? I'm gonna say 1957. 19 what? 57. 1957. Okay, Eddie, what year do you think it was? 1958. Okay, and uh, Ellie? Yeah, that's about what I was thinking about. 1969. 19, mm. 1969. Yeah, it took over just before Johnny Carson. Yeah. Okay, Lynn. No, think about it, Norbies. Yeah, no, I'm thinking. All right. I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking. Uh, Liz, what do you think? I don't think much, so I'll say 1960. 1960. Okay, and uh, Tony? Well, hope this is par for the course. <laughs> 56. 1956. 1956. One thing I like about the humor here, it's not forced in any way. <laughs> no, and it's not funny either. No. <laughs> I might say that, too. It's, uh, it's neither of the two major Fs. <laughs> it's neither forced nor funny. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Robert, Moving right along. Robert, what do you say? Well, I'm going to tell you a true story but now. The, but, oh, but don't tell us the a true story. Just Jack Parr, who was doing the show, oh, I came nobody, to New York oh, oh God. in 1962. So I would have to say 1960. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize your your your. No, he wore your, makeup man. and everything, and he's a very old man too, by the way. <laughs> when? Then or now? No, no. I said the audience. He come you were an old up, man with me, makeup on? Says, Who are you? And I said, I'm nobody. That was 1960. And it still holds true today. Listen, listen, listen. I'm telling the truth. Stuff. You see, you don't, you don't listen to me when I tell, tell the truth. We try not to. <laughs> but we can't help <laughs> it sometimes. Uh, Jack, what do you think? Well, let me see. Carson started in 61, right? Was it 61 or 60? I, th I think it was 61. 61? Because I was born near the end. Of what? 60. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> near the end of the program, they got him in just before the credits. <laughs> <laughs> Show was 90 minutes then, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so let me see. I'm going to figure that out. Actually, was wasn't the show originally... Uh, um, not 90 minutes. It was, show. It, was, it was 105 it was, minutes or something yes, like that? Yes, it was 15 it was, minutes because Johnny Carson used to get the 15-minute flu every night because he didn't like that. No, when Johnny Carson began doing it, it was an hour and a half. No, it was then, a little longer. It was an hour and 45. Yeah, an hour and 45 minutes. Oh, really? Minutes, was it? Such an, oh, what was the other 15 minutes? Oh, the I think they went on. Yeah, local, local news. news. Local news ended at 11.15, I think. Wasn't that 11.15 yeah. to yeah. Uh, 12.15? That'd be to 1 o'clock. Yeah. 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 That's kind of strange. And then when did it go to 90 minutes? Uh, no, it didn't take long for Johnny uh, after Johnny Carson took over because he hated that extra yeah. 15 minutes so much he would come down with some little malady uh, and Ed, Ed McMahon would sort of have to go out there and fump her for 15 minutes and um, and so then it was like like within weeks. And then it went to an hour, what, an like hour and the and early half. 70s? Uh, mid to late 70s. Mid to late 70s. Yeah. I think when it was an hour and 45 minutes. Not all the stations carried the first 15 minutes. Mm. I think that's probably what bothered Carson. Yeah. Uh, Jack. Because he went on 11.15. And, uh, Jack. And, and hold on a minute. And some of the stations uh, decided they, they were going to extend their newscast to yeah. 11.30 anyway. So they didn't pick him up to 11.30 mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Okay, Jack, what do you think? What year was that? Uh, let's see. I think it was on for like three years. 58. 1958. Okay, the year actually was 1957. Oh, wow. man. So you, you all, three of you, so it came very, very close. So but it was, uh, Lisa said, said 57. So Lisa is now tied with Tony. Oh, this is really a, this is really a breathtaking thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. My goodness, this is, oh, wow. Okay, let me, <laughs> here's, here's, here's uh, another date, uh, and that happened on this day, July 
uh, 29th, uh, Prince Charles married Lady Diana. Britain's Prince, Prince Charles married Lady Diana Spencer at St. Paul's Cathedral in London with 2,500 guests attending, watched by 700 million viewers around the world. And then the next sad line is, they separated in 1993. Oh. Mm. After uh, how many years of marriage? <laughs> <laughs> That's very clever. I almost fell for that. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not clever, but probably stupid on my part. Okay, what was the year that the Princess Prince Charles married Lady Diana? Uh, yeah, it was on again on this day, July 29th. And we'll start with you, Eddie. What do you think? Okay, folks, I got this one down, Pat. 1981. 1981. Okay, Ellie, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to say 1979. All right, and uh, Robert? I would think God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen. 1981. 1981. Okay, Lisa? Uh, I'm going to say 19... I'll go with the trend, 81. 81. Okay, Tony? Hmm. <clears throat> uh, Royal 1981. Okay, Jack? Hmm, yeah, I remember watching it. Uh, 1981. One of the 700 million, eh? Yep, yeah, me too. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 700, uh, uh, 700, uh, 700 million and six is what uh, the number I had. <laughs> and uh, Liz? Can ditto me there, 81. Okay. My wife covered that. Uh, she was sent to uh, to London by her paper, The Herald. I remember her covering that. It was quite something. And... Uh, she reported back to me on a program. I, still, I can't remember what station that was. I flitted around so much. I think it was WRKO I was at the time. It was just before I, I got fired from that station. <laughs> or was it was just before I got fired from the other station. I forget. And it was just before I got fired from someplace. Anyway, I had my own private correspondent. I thought that was kind of nice. Hmm. But the year was 1981. Yay. It was that. And, uh, a very the, crowning moment. A very crowning moment. We're not going to give up on this whole approach, are we? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That means we still have a tie then, because uh, now Tony has one, two, three, four, five yeah, correct answers, and uh, Lisa also has five. That's a pretty good tie. Uh, okay. Two people have five correct answers. Five correct answers is excellent, and some of the others have, uh, have done pretty well, too. Uh, Lisa, for example, uh, Liz rather has three, which is good. And uh, like the, let, let's do one more, see if we can break the tie, okay? Uh, this is, uh, let me just see now, just one moment, let me just see, you bet. Any birthdays for next week? Any or? birthdays for next week? We could do that. So how about this one? The uh, date, again, was July 29th. Transcontinental Telephone Service began oh, with the first phone conversation between New York and San Francisco. Transcontinental Telephone Service, New York to San Francisco. What year was that, do you think, Liz? Jeez, oh, you would have to start with me. Uh, uh, 1950. <laughs> 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 I'm just thinking about something machine, funny. Yeah. That's You're right. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 69. Oh. 69, that's oh. right. No, that's right. No, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, the thing was, is that in 69, that was so tough, they didn't know what to do when they went to put the guys to the moon. They said, we can send the guys to the moon, but we can't call San Francisco. Sure. Before that, they were using satellite transmission. That's right. I don't, I don't, see, I don't want to take a chance on getting the right answer and then you not breaking the ties. See, that's what. That's why I... Oh, 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 I see. Jack, what... 1943. Yeah. <laughs> Just after John Winthrop discovered a city on a hill. Uh, and, her, and, and he placed a phone call. Hey, San Francisco, I have a city on a hill. Open your golden gates. Um, matter of fact, I think if they keep working at it, they ought to be able to get that call through by the year 2003. <laughs>
I remember when they made the first call to Worcester. Uh, I was sitting at home that day. Uh, let's see. Was, Watching the wedding, weren't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was right after Chuck and Die. Uh, yeah. made their famous vows. Um, do, do, do. Chuck and Die. Chuck and Die. 18, uh, 1892. Like something to do with a horse. Yeah. Did you see, did you see Jack when he was riding there? Did the old Chuck and die? <laughs> the old Chuck and die. <laughs> Tony, what do you think? What did you say, Jack, for an answer there? Uh, I don't remember. 1892, uh, I think? Yes, you did. That's what you said, yes. Okay, you asked me, Tom? No, I haven't asked you yet, Eddie. All right. No, I was asking Tony. Hey. We, we better move it along a little bit because we're okay, getting very uh, close to let time. Let me see here. Uh, before our dime runs out. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 19 odd one. 19 odd one. Lisa. I'm gonna say uh, 1905. 1905. Robert. Uh, brother, you were way, way back when Mickey Rooney played the part <laughs> of the telephone the operator. <laughs> Uh, no, the telephone. Here, drummer, oh. something. Yelling <laughs> back and forth. Edison. Jersey City, Edison. Uh, sure. Hurry hurry it up, Robert. We don't have really an awful lot of time now. We're running close. 888, exactly. That's Ma Bell. That's where the phone originated. Okay, Ellie, what do you think? Um, 1890. And uh, Addie? Mm, 1901. You're going to say the same thing, Tony? <laughs> she doesn't said. want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 1901. Okay, the uh, the correct year was nineteen ot fourteen, oh. which <laughs> means that Lisa Lisa said nineteen five, and so Lisa was the closest. Tony was close to at nineteen ot one. So Lisa, hold on, and uh, she wins fair and, and, and you win for yeah, you win, and you you got a lot of correct answers. You're okay, Lisa. Oh, I was thinking Thanks, of the Pony Mom. Express. I was thinking of the Pony Express. Come on. Come on. Anyway, thank you very much, Liz. Good night, Norm. Good night. And uh, Tony's going in to get the proper uh, uh, information so he can send the swell gift out to Lisa. Thank you very much, Addie. Uh, good night, Norm. Good night to you, Adam. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to move along quickly. Robert, thank you very much. And thank you, Ellie. And uh, thank you, Jack. Thank you. The two major Fs. Neither forced nor funny. I still live by that creed today, and my family will back me up on that. Closing the vault and riding the radio waves home. For Norm's cousin, Tevia Schlappman. Ormstown, Quebec, Canada. My Lanta. Rusted, leaky trailers. The Indianapolis Chowder Society and Knitting Group. Dick Clark. Royal Wedding Correspondent, Norman Nathan. And the Radio Cowboy Trio of Jack Traffic Poet Laureate Hart, Deputy Sheriff Norm Nathan, and the Pundertaker, Tony Nesbitt. I'm Tony Nesbitt.